Today, I rise to introduce legislation of great importance to my state, the Native Hawaiian Government Reorganization Act of 2011. This bill will ensure parity in federal policy as it relates to the Native Hawaiian people. It would put them on equal footing with American Indians and Alaska Natives. In 1993, I sponsored a measure commonly known as Apology Resolution. This resolution was signed into law by President Bill Clinton. It outlined the history prior to and following the overthrow of the Kingdom of Hawaii, including the involvement in the overthrow by agents of the United States. In the resolution, the United States apologized for its involvement and acknowledged the ramifications of the overthrow. And it committed to support reconciliation efforts between the United States and the Native Hawaiian people. However, additional congressional action is needed. My legislation allows us to take the necessary next step in the reconciliation process. The bill does three things. First, it authorizes an office in the Department of Interior to serve as a liaison between the Native Hawaiians and the United States. Second, it forms an interagency task force chaired by the Departments of Justice and Interior and composed of officials from federal agencies that administer programs and services impacting Native Hawaiians. Third, it authorizes a process for the reorganization of Native Hawaiian government for the purposes of a federally recognized government-to-government -government relationship. Once a Native Hawaiian government is recognized, an inclusive democratic negotiating process representing both Native Hawaiians and non-Native Hawaiians would be established. There are many checks and balances in this process. Any agreements reached would still require the legislative approval of the state and federal governments. Opponents have spread misinformation about the bill. Let me be clear on some things that this bill does not do. My bill does not allow for gambling. It does not allow for Hawaii to secede from the United States. It does not allow for private land to be taken. It does not create a reservation in Hawaii. What this bill does do is allow the people of Hawaii to come together and address issues arising from the overthrow of the Kingdom of Hawaii more than 118 years ago. It is time to move forward with this legislation. To date, there have been a total of 12 congressional hearings, including five joint hearings in Hawaii, held by the Senate Committee on Indian Affairs and the House Natural Resources Committee. Our colleagues in the House have passed the versions of this bill three times. We have a strong bill that is supported by the Native communities across the United States, by the state of Hawaii, and by the Obama administration. Last week, I met with officials and community leaders in the state of Hawaii to share my intention to reintroduce this legislation. I received widespread support this support was not surprising. A poll conducted by the Honolulu Advertiser in May of last year reported that 66% of the people of Hawaii support federal recognition for Native Hawaiians, and 82% of Native Hawaiians polled support federal recognition. My efforts have been the support of the National Congress of American Indians, uh, the Alaska Federation of Natives, and groups throughout the Native Hawaiian community, including the Association of Hawaiian Civic Clubs, 
the Native Hawaiian Bar Association, the Council for Native Hawaiian Advancement, and two state agencies which represent the interests of Native Hawaiian people, the Office of Hawaiian Affairs and the Department of Hawaiian Homelands. I have also received support from national organizations, such as the American Bar Association, and from President Obama, the Department of Justice, and the Department of Interior. I encourage all of my colleagues to stand with me and support this legislation. I welcome any of my colleagues with concerns to speak with me so I can explain how important this bill is for the people of Hawaii. The people of Hawaii have waited far too long. The United States has federally recognized government-to-government -government relationships with 565 tribes across our country. It is time to extend this policy to Native Hawaiians. 